I'm most excited for people uh, for people to hear the song. Um, honestly, when I got sent the song, I played it in the car and I was driving and I got the chills. I was just like, the song is amazing. And it's such a beautiful song. The lyrics are great. And um, I'm excited to download the song myself when it comes out of my phone. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited for people to hear this song. It's a beautiful song. It made me really emotional too, listening to it and reading the lyrics. So. Mm. Um, I'm excited for people to get to uh, see this final chapter of this story and to finally see this wedding that everybody's been talking about. And the, these are hardcore Descendants fans across the world finally get to see this moment. Um, and I think, uh, I think, I think it's really great. There's, there's a one shot in the, in the, uh, the special where the core now three put their hands together and there's space left for cam in the shot. And if you know, it's a, it's a subtle thing, but I, it, I thought it was so beautiful. And, um, so I thought it was just a nice, perfect ending. My favorite part has just been the fact that I, this opened uh, me up as an actor to a whole new fan base. I was at Disneyland with my kids and, you know, the young people started surrounding me and saying, Hades, Hades. It's so weird to be recognized for something that is wholesome and happy <laughs> when, I, when I, was, I was doing, you know, American Horror Story for four years and different fan base, just as uh, excitable. Um, so that was my, it just it opened up a whole new world for me and uh, really made me realize, oh, I want to do things that uh, are uplifting and happy and that my kids can see. So that was, that was my thing. Yeah, and I think for me, it's just been all just the memories of hanging out with just spending time with the the cast and the crew and Kenny getting to know Kenny on the level that I've gotten to know him on and um yeah just a lot of in-between moments um I'm very thankful for all the memories that um I've stored away and that um between the cast we can share and I, I don't know there's so many like great great things that happen you know just all the memories of just being friends and just growing up. Cause that was when I got the part, I was like nine, I was 19, I think. Mm. And um, was it that long? No, no, this, I must've been 20. I had to been 20. I don't, um, maybe just turned 20, but uh, I, I just have grown up a lot through this time um, since I got the part to now. And it's just being able to share this, this experience with the cast that we have and the family has just been really, really great. I haven't really done anything like it before. I've done voiceover and I've done commercial acting, but um, but no, it was a. I've never had to recreate a character that I've already created on screen, just the vocal performance of it. Um, and Boo Boo said this earlier this morning to uh, in a different interview, but I it resonated with me. It's interesting how, as an actor, on when you're on screen, you don't you're not thinking about the physical thing you're just in the moment and you're speaking the words and you're reacting when it's just your voice they are constantly telling you you know give it more big and i'm not somebody who usually they say bring it up <laughs> i'm a big performer so i got that note a lot they kept saying more bigger uh crazier and more range and so it was interesting having to really calibrate that and but still stay true to what we all created on screen yeah, I totally agree, Cheyenne, having to uh, bring a character that you do <laughs> live action to animated. There's a lot of, um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say like pressure, but there is a certain, you know, uh, level of, of making sure that you're staying true to the character and that it's how your character would say it and, you know, in the films and um, having to rehash that and bring it back uh, is, is a task that I hadn't done before. Um, so yeah, I, I agree, Cheyenne. I think it's going to be cool for them to see these beloved characters animated. It was, you know, while they were, while the Disney animators were creating this, you know, I kept getting sent screenshots and pictures of like, oh, we're doing this. And, you know, everybody has this fan, at least I think so, this fantasy of themselves as a, as a cartoon. What would they be like? What would they, oh, they're going to. So I thought that was an, ex that was, uh, 
a cool thing. So I think hearing hearing their voices, like when I first saw the preview, like hearing Boo Boo's voice and hearing Dove's voice, but then seeing it married to the animation, I thought was uh, really cool. I know some people are like animated. I want to see them in person. I get it, but like this is this is very cool. This is very it, it's a it's a different it's a different thing, and it's a great thing. Yeah, and I think as a you know, for me, like when I'm a fan, of, I'm a fan of many things. I, I want to get as much out of it as I can, you know, give me more, give me more. And uh, I just think it's, uh, I just think it's nice that you get to see the, um, the growth of the characters um, and to see where they are today.